A traditional method for extracting natural products would be to use chlorinated hydrocarbons, which we prefer not to use nowadays. An alternative method is steam distillation, which you can see on the screen. This is an energy intensive method and not particularly efficient, and it goes against the principles of green chemistry. In this experiment we're going to look at using liquid carbon dioxide as a solvent for extracting limonene from orange peel, as shown on the screen. The tube is packed with crushed dry ice or solid carbon dioxide and then placed into water at 50 degrees. As you may be aware, carbon dioxide normally sublimes, which means it turns directly from a solid into a gas. However, because the tube is sealed, pressure is allowed to build up as the carbon dioxide sublimes. Eventually, the pressure increase is high enough that at this temperature, the carbon dioxide is able to form a liquid. Here you can see the liquid carbon dioxide percolating through the orange peel, and as it does so, it extracts the compound limonene. Here you can see the liquid carbon dioxide boiling both above and below the orange peel. And at the bottom of the tube you can see evidence of limonene, which is a pale yellow oil. Eventually all of the carbon dioxide escapes through the cap as the tube deforms slightly under pressure. More carbon dioxide can be added to perform a second extraction to improve the yield. Finally, after the tube has warmed up to room temperature, you can see that we've collected a significant amount of limonene in the bottom of the tube. It's worth pointing out that liquid carbon dioxide in the form you've seen in the video is often referred to as supercritical carbon dioxide. So why do we consider this to be a green solvent? Well, first of all, it's non-toxic, unlike many traditional solvents. And we mentioned in the video that limonene was traditionally extracted using chlorinated hydrocarbons. Also, caffeine in the past has been extracted using benzene and chlorinated hydrocarbons, and that too can be extracted using supercritical carbon dioxide. Another point to make is that carbon dioxide is obtained as a byproduct from other industrial processes. This is another one of the principles of green chemistry. So you're probably asking the question, surely this will lead to increased global warming, because we all know that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Well, no, this isn't the case, for the reason outlined above. The carbon dioxide that we use as a solvent comes from other industrial processes where it normally would have been released into the atmosphere anyway. So by using it as a solvent, we're not actually leading to a net increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So you cannot say that this process actually leads to increased global warming.